Hello everyone, thank you for watching a video from Accenture. Now today we are going to learn how to create some leads and how to use the pipeline to manage your leads. So when you go to your sales module, what you will see is this is actually your dashboard itself. You are able to go to sales and you can go to leads. Now there's two sections over here. One is actually leads, then the other is actually uh, my pipeline. So why is the difference? The difference is that if your company is pretty large and you have got two types of pipelines so usually that happen when your company have got a telemarketing team and then your company have got a salesperson so the telemarketing team would generally use one pipeline and then your salesperson would use another pipeline so if let's say for example you have got a telemarketing team um, you would be able to create leads so when you create leads Generally at this point in time, let's say for example, you are calling up some clients, you may not have a lot of information from that client itself. So you are presented with a list of contacts and then you start calling and calling and calling. And then maybe you get someone who's interested in some of your products. So let's say for example, you are selling copier machines. And this client is interested, let's say for example, they say that I'm looking for a scanning machine able to print, able to copy, and then able to, let's say, send emails. So let's say, for example, I uh, want to be able to send, scan and straight away send email to their uh, email address itself. So if, let's say, you know who you are calling, let's say, for example, um, Accenture, Private Limited, perhaps maybe you use a different company name. Let's say, for example, DocuHub Data Private Limited and let's say the person that you are talking to is Roland and you are able to give him a title so most of the time it will be either Miss or Mister and if he has an email address you can just key in the email address for the lack of a better email address let's do Roland at accentuate.com.sg but of course in your case you will key in the real email address of your client itself and then um, you can put in as much details as you have um, but at this point maybe you don't have a lot of details so it is okay mm, and if you are talking to this client you, you will have a sensing whether um, it is a case where it is very easy to close or very difficult, to, very difficult to close so let's say this person is very excited and he's looking for a copy of machine already so you can give it a very high you are able to tag your leads so let's say for example this is a copy of machine deal so you say copy a machine and you are able to create tags like that um, I suggest that um, each company create your own tagging convention and let's not deviate from the standard tagging convention because at the end of the day if you do a lot of um, tagging on an ad hoc basis you will end up with a lot of rubbish tagging so you don't, uh, you don't want to do that you will be able to assign a color um, to the tag itself so um, when you look look at it at the at the dashboard view you will be able to immediately identify what kind of lead this is so let's say all copier machine leads we are using going to use green color and we will we will assign copier machine to be green color now during the phone call maybe you get some information from the client um, the client say could you please uh, call me back and maybe email me some information before we have a meetup or something like that so you will be able to key in um, to internal notes over here so let's say more details um, and let's say let's key in something that's more meaningful client is asking for more details send brochure as well as um, a ballpark price for them to consider all right so the more meaningful details you key in the better it is all right for for you yourself as well as for your client uh, for your salesperson now if you go to extra info uh, you are able to say uh, if if let's say you have got emailing campaigns you are able to indicate whether this person would like to continue to receive um, email advertisements or something like that so if let's say over the phone call the person says um, please don't send me any marketing material I think um, uh, that's enough then you don't tick this box itself sorry then you tick this box itself um, so that in the future if you want to know who has opt out of all your marketing emails um, um, it will be indicated all right so when it is done you just click on save 
and if you were to go to leads now you see that um, you have got this uh, uh, list view of your leads you are able to see all the leads that's over here now you are able to uh, view in several other options so let's say for example you turn turn it into a graph you can turn it into pivot table where you are able to do some uh, drill down uh, drill down reporting so let's say for example you want to group by let's say creation date so you want to know whether your telemarketers are are doing their job so this is where you do your uh, do your do your reporting itself so you are able to break down by break down by days and see how many phone calls have been made and you will be able to also break down by your telemarketing so you, all you need to do is you just group by salesperson and then of course the individual salesperson uh, would be uh, detailed out and if you want to you are able to export out to excel sheet just like that so you click on this button um, the system will automatically ex export this pivot table into an excel sheet so this is what you get uh, when you export into an excel sheet now uh, if you want to you can look at calendar view but as of now the calendar view is not going to be uh, very useful for you so let's go back to list view so essentially um, that is about it this is how you create a new lead and if you if let's say this lead after a while after you call up this person and says that uh, this person says that, okay uh, i would like to proceed to meet up with a salesperson then you will be able to take this lead and convert directly into an opportunity so when you click convert to opportunity you are able to say all right who you want to assign this lead to so if your um, telemarketer has got the option or the authority to assign who is supposed to be in charge of this lead so this is where your telemarketer will assign and the relevant salesperson will be able to see the lead going into his pipeline and if you have got multiple sales team this is where you select your sales team now at this point in time uh, you got to decide whether this is an existing client that is uh, within the system itself or this is a new client so most of the time it is going to be a new client but if it is an existing one you don't want to create a duplicate so you would like to link to an existing client you can do a search over here so this client is docuhub data so if you do a search it doesn't appear chances are it is not part of the database you can just straight away um, click on create a new customer and then as it convert into an opportunity it will automatically create the customer for you as well so all you need to do is you click on create opportunity and that's it you have already successfully created a lead and qualified the lead and converted it into an opportunity so as you can see in opportunity there are multiple levels um, i will not go through this i will go through this in the opportunity video so um, but one thing to one thing that you want you would like to take away from this video is that when you convert a lead into an opportunity you realize that none of these um, details are lost so the company name is there the person is there um, the tagging is there the details are there as well so immediately when your salesperson take over the lead uh, he will know exactly what have been communicated to this particular client and then he can follow up from there so that's about it for today's video thank you so much for watching i'll see you in, in another video thank you so much bye bye